What's up, everybody? It's your favorite show, favorite show, Get a Bucket. I'm your host, Train as usual. Hope you're all having a wonderful, wonderful day. And as you can see on the screen, we got my guy, Nick. Nick, how's everything been with you, man? Man, everything's been wonderful. It's been an up and down season, so I'm excited to get to talk about it. <laughs> it's definitely been an up and down season. Listen, brother, I wore a little gold. All this called Get a Bucket. So, you know, we got Lakers here. But I wore a little gold just because your team it is it, 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 the Steelers, so I try to give you a little support. But if y'all know though, I'm a Panthers fan, so we'll we be talking. We will be talking about my boys a little bit, just a little bit. But um, shoot, I was about to say in terms of in terms of this AFC West though, mm -hmm. I would I would be a little remiss if I if I ain't talk about the Raiders and Broncos. Um, okay. you know what I'm saying? Because the Raiders did lose a, a couple people. Um. And I think it made Devontae Adams a little happy. So losing a – is the head coach, correct me if I'm wrong? They lost their head coach and their uh, offensive coordinator. Yeah. So, so I think with that loss, you're seeing – or one coordinator. I don't know if it's – because I'm pretty sure maybe even Josh McDaniels was calling the plays. Um I thought he was personally. Yeah, yeah. I think it might have been a defensive coordinator. Um, but they cleared house for a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, the Josh McDaniels experiment. And another reason why I think we need to just – this is a topic for the show, but Bill Belichick's country does not seem to have the same effect as a lot of these other coaches' coaching trees. You know what I mean? Like a lot of these other players and other teams that are coming from systems that are built by Andy Reid, Mike Shanahan, mm. you know, all these other coaches throughout history. Okay. Are, they, you know, Bill Parcells, you know, when when the when the people that they brought up and were and were and were and were and were being, you know, they're they're actually finding success, but no coach that has ever coached under Bill Belichick and went on to be a head coach has had success. When are we going to have that conversation about what what does that mean? Let's, let's, let's table that one because, see, y'all are more of a football expert than I am. So I got to do my research on that because I was about to say, well, I thought isn't – you know what? I don't even know who coached under the man now. I got I got to double check. I got to double – I thought they were pretty successful, though, um, in coaching. But, I mean, if this isn't a, a Greg Popovich sort of situation – um, meaning like, you know, you coach players or you, um, the players who you like, or the other people who like coach under you go off and thrive, you know, like Craig Popovich has coached Steve Kerr or, and then he got, uh, oh my, Becky Hammond out there too. So, I mean, they've been successful. So I'm just saying it, it's, it's been, it's a nice little tree of success over there. Um, so if we don't have the same thing from, from Bill Belichick and we might need to have that discussion. Cause I do like Andy Reid as, as a coach. Uh, he just didn't have the the players. I mean, the, I, I mean, no, I'm I'm lying. No, he did have the players. He just kept he losing the, the bill. He just really kept losing the bill. Like I, I, he didn't have the quarterback, and that's and that's what I'm gonna say. I, I, I can't say I, I can't say that because he I, he. I mean, you know, Donovan was cool. It's not like he. It's not like he was some slouch. Like he he was he was solid now. Like, he was solid, but he wasn't Pat Mahomes. Nah, but Bill I mean. Brady, and he put him up against a, a player that wasn't of that caliber. Now, let's say he was, we, good, he was good enough to beat Brady, though. I think he was good enough to beat Brady. I think. Like, you lose by three. Like, I, 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 the, I just, I'm sorry, but he's the one who threw the interception. That's all I'm going to say. Ah, that's all I'm going to say. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, okay to, it's okay to put that conversation in there. It's okay. I get it. As of somebody who also watched football when I was a kid, <laughs> I tried, I tried, I tried. All right, so then, so okay, so we got, so we got to have a discussion then about the bill, about Bill's kids, um, mm -hmm. not not Clinton. Um, so then, with the Raiders, do you see them being successful going forward now this season? Well, you know, I think that Jets game said a lot about their perseverance, their want to to win. Mm -hmm. Do they have? I don't know how I feel about this Aiden O'Connell kid. Um, you know, they benched Jimmy G for him. Mm -hmm. He's had efficient games. Mm -hmm. 
but I'm not seeing Adams any less pissed on the sideline, you know, after after a drive because, you know, they're basically just relying on Josh Jacobs and trick plays right now to try to get by. Um, gadget plays, if you will, you know, reverses, you know, having receivers run the ball, you know, Josh Jacobs putting up 20 carries, which he's on my fantasy team, so I, I don't mind that at all. Um, but, <laughs> you know, I think that it's – it's certainly something to, to, to think about going forward because of any team in the division right now, the weakest link for the Raiders is running is quarterback and, and every team other than the chiefs is having coaching problems, which, you know, at the start of the season, I said, chiefs, I still think chiefs. I mean, that, that's easy. Um, that's a division. You know, but yeah, now that, that's going to be good. But overall, I think this AFC is, is pretty solid as a whole, bro. So, I mean, I, I, I ain't gonna hold y'all, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, we just covered the whole AFC, so I hope y'all liked it. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell anyone who's anyone about the show. Nick, before we go, uh, you got anything you want to say for, uh, to the folks? Um, you know, support my bro. He's putting out great content every week. So like and subscribe, like he said. Um, and yeah, I mean, thank you so much for having me. Um, I'm excited to see what this season unfolds because I think a good football season is a season where any given Sunday is a true statement. Um, and we're seeing an any given Sunday kind of season, which I, I really like. It's good for football. They have competitive teams regardless of record, division, roster, health, you know. Um, it really I mean, makes betting a lot more. Yeah. Well, I don't know if entertain is the right word for that, actually, now that I think about it. No, more like more like uh, anxiety inducing, but yeah, yeah, it adds anxiety to my. I swear to you, bro, because even in basketball, it's becoming more like an any game sort of league now. You know what I'm saying? Like any team can beat you. Like like the talent level is there. It's just more so about the execution and production now. So I mean, that's what the NFL is like, and I appreciate I've I've, I've appreciated the NFL for a while for that reason because any team can win on any given Sunday. So I mean, and I think that's what the NBA is trying to actually create in their league because for a while you kind of knew which teams were going to win so you still might be able to but now it's, it's harder to to tell because hey this team is actually tough to beat so can this team really beat them it's, I and that's why I, I viewed that for the nfl for a while so i've always appreciated that about the nfl man definitely definitely yeah, but yeah. ladies and gentlemen y'all definitely see nick again uh probably probably soon too you know i'll, I'll have a, i'll probably have another video to talk about because Super Bowl is not going to be it's not it's going to happen not too long from now so you know we should bring I will we'll, we'll have, we'll have you and a couple other boys on the show for certain for certain but like I said ladies and gentlemen hope you all have enjoyed it I hope you all having a good one hope you all enjoyed the show and uh, most importantly take care <laughs>